Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. A new retail building and bank has been proposed for a vacant space in the Morningside commercial area. Edfar Architects and Orion Investments propose redeveloping property near 44th Street and France Avenue. The developers would like to tear down the existing structure at 4530 France Avenue, a former auto maintenance shop, and build an extension of the existing 4528 France Avenue building. The addition would be built above an existing parking ramp on the site of the auto maintenance shop. If approved, the building could house several tenants, including a new Gateway Bank in its 5,700 square feet of space. Gateway Bank has been looking for the right location for its first Edina branch for nearly a decade. It's already a vibrant corner and by bringing in a bank to serve the community, getting rid of it, uh, an abandoned oil change building that's a little bit smelly, um, it really brings some uh, vitality and, and uh, strength and financial improvement to the neighborhood. A rezoning is required for both sites to planned unit development or planned commercial district. No formal application has yet been filed. A local family is donating a sun shelter, bench and drinking fountain at a park where their family member loved to play tennis. Pat Lewis, along with his children Tiffany, Kelly, Tina and Tracy, is making a donation of more than $30,000 in honor of his late wife, Kathy, for improvements at Creek Valley School Park. Kathy played competitive tennis there several days a week until her death. Kathy was a very much of a tennis advocate. She loved the game and um, enjoyed the competitive spirit of the game. She loved the camaraderie with her friends. And she loved up here at Creek Valley because it was very close to our home. So it was our thought that if we can continue to promote the game of tennis with a shelter and some other things that might be uh, attractive to people to come up here and promote the game of tennis. That's what we wanted to do. The shelter bench and drinking fountain will be placed on the west side of the tennis courts. Construction will begin early this summer and is expected to be complete by the end of July. Spring cleaning can include many different projects. For the Public Works Department, one of the jobs they take on in Edina is flushing all of the fire hydrants in the city. Edina TV's Scott Denfeld finds out why this is such an important task. On a rainy spring morning, utilities worker Nate Cutterlick has his hands full. It's raining, but we're still out here flushing hydrants. Nate and other city utility workers take 10 days each spring to clear out the more than 2,000 city fire hydrants. There's two reasons for uh, flushing hydrants. Uh, the main reason is to clean out the water mains, uh, get all the dirty stuff out of there that's settled over the winter. And uh, the second main reason is to uh, check maintenance on the hydrant. Um, if they open too tight, if they don't open at all, uh, we can document that and uh, we can get them fixed. While this may seem like a basic task, there is a certain technique to it. Uh, we like to start out opening it up slowly. Uh, a lot of people use a visual aspect uh, by visually looking at the, the uh, water coming out. So right now the water is clean. So I'm gonna start closing the hydrant here slowly. Uh, you don't wanna close them fast because if you close them too fast, uh, you can create a water hammer in the system, which will uh, eventually could cause a water main break. That's a problem he'd like to avoid as he and the others ensure the system is working correctly. We kind of do know which areas are bad and which aren't. Um, we also do know where the, our water plants are. We try to, we base our flushing off of that. We start near our water plants or our water towers and we spread out from there. And ultimately, Hydrant flushing is a way to take something dirty and make it clean. It gets fresh water out in the system too. Uh, like I said, right now we have all our filter plants running and uh, they're pushing out water as we're doing this. So it's gonna give you, give you uh, fresher, cleaner water, uh, better tasting. Hopefully is what we're, going, what we're trying to do here. From the streets and fire hydrants of Edina, I'm Scott Denfeld, Edina TV.
The hydrant flushing process is repeated in the fall, but is a bit more selective. Typically, not every hydrant is flushed at that time. Thanks for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.